man, it's like, it's just it, it, a uh, big party, big family, community. I was telling Omri, because we've both been to Burning Man, and we appreciate that organization, the principles, the, the community that it happens there. And when I first came here in 2016, that's how it felt to me. Uh, the, you know, everyone could be their authentic selves, the costuming, the, uh, there was no menace, you know, uh, everyone was getting along. Uh, the gifting aspects, there were a lot of similar aspects, and I was especially excited to have you guys come, because they haven't been here yet, uh, to, in, you know, and put them in, in the mix, because I know that they would, they would dig it so hard. But yeah, and it's like, it's a four-hour drive as well. And have you That's dug it? So far, yeah, we only got here last night, so uh, yeah, I think uh, I was a little overwhelmed. He's like, sorry folks, gotta go have fun. Go, <laughs> go, go look around, yeah. Go I can't around. get you in, sorry. Sorry, don't have wristbands. Funny, not funny. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah, it's been so fun. I really love people feeling free to be creative and be themselves and be a character and really, really embody the character. Um, yeah, it's, I'm impressed. As I've gotten older, I've become more of a minimalist, oh, yeah. and I've just kind of shed most of my collection stuff, so I live very minimally. If there's anything I have a collection of, it's like grow equipment that's uh, obsolete, that's and I need to like throw that stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> did you, did you, were you a comic book guy as a kid? What did you collect as a kid? Um, I don't know if I collected stuff, but obviously I had toys up the wazoo. Um, did you have a favorite? Uh, Toys-wise? Yeah. Uh, He-Man, G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. oh. yes. yeah. you know, I wish I still had, and Star Wars, but I wish I still like kept that stuff like, in I boxes. Know, yeah. Just because I would have like, sold it. were not informed in the 80s. <laughs> oh, I, I still have my uh, baseball, like my sports card collection mm -hmm. from when I was young, oh, which yeah, nice. could be very valuable. No, there's still a market. Um, yeah. 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 yeah, but that's about kind of one of the only things. I'm one that just lets go and moves on. I guess that's just my personality. <laughs> what about you? Uh, okay, so this is inadvertent. So I don't have a hoarder husband, but I have a husband <laughs> who just put all his change into a bucket for uh, years. Yeah. I found this bucket and I was like, some of this could be valuable. Then I went into it and went into a world. Mm -hmm. I researched all the pennies mm -hmm. and quarters and nickels, like, and basically have this like underworld of a YouTube how did this happen? I'm like with these like older guys who care about it, and this really intense young guy who's just on coffee all the time talking about which coins are valuable. <laughs> so I am lost in this world and I literally had to put it away because I was like, I got to focus on getting my son to school, doing other things like getting ready for this or whatever, you know, and I'm like, this is insane, this world you can get into. But um, I'm like, how am I aligned with this world? But I, I'm totally nerding out. This is my personality. like. I could easily get addicted to things like I'm like I can't be any near any video games or anything like Guitar Hero. I was like nobody get me this ever <laughs> because I literally will be there like trying to perfect it. Mm -hmm. So I I have to watch myself and just drop something if it's <laughs> if I become too obsessed. So maybe in the future you'll see me wanting doing one of those YouTube videos, but hopefully not. <laughs> but I want to see is it if someone brought out a handful of change right now, would you be able to identify? Yeah, some things. Yeah. Who's got some change? You have any change? I do. I, I, oh, is, is this Stop. where we're going? You're so bad. <laughs> I want to see. Really? The best part is that Let's we all just pull out one point like, and doing? see if it's worthless. It's okay. about the markings Let's sometimes. See. What do you it's think? the markings and the kind of. I want hear what you picked up. You want by gold, looking, uh, copper or silver? Oh, let's see what the quarter is. Wait for the quarter. You look at the, what are you looking at? The date and then the... Yeah. Well, sometimes the print uh, can be off. This is 2000, so it's nothing. Two and <laughs> Oh, you want to look at more? She needs an old one. It's worth 25 it's cents, old. though, right? <laughs> it's worth that, yeah. of course. <laughs> look for at least. This, this one looks old. Really, in this economy? <laughs> <laughs> when are they just going to get rid of change altogether? Um, I agree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And right. the funny it's thing is... Oh, but you know what? The weird thing is, is that the this is good because it may have been double stamped, so this oh, thickness that's around just, it. Yeah, that's part so of it's like that that's, gives it a little bit of value, but maybe that's not. impressive. That's, <laughs> that's a skill. That's good. This is 1980. So 1980, they changed their pennies, so it's no longer copper, but it was like copper plated. So if you drop a penny on a surface that's underneath, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> 
But if you later. drop it on the surface, watch. And if you, somebody oh. had a 1979, and see, it doesn't even go ding, 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 ding. So there's a ring to it if you have a penny that's. that's Wow. I love a it. penny that is less, <laughs> that is younger than 1980. I mean, older, sorry. The uh, recording studio's in the closet, and then I have a curtain in my living room. Uh, when he said studio, I was like, I miss my studio. <laughs> and they don't have it anymore either. Oh, wow. And all my equipment's just kind of like collecting a lot of dust, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> I live right next to a That's train good. track, oh. so you can hear. Ish. Yeah. Ish. So we're so doing something, and you can hear the horn from a distance. I'm like, all right, hold on, give me 30 seconds. <laughs> Train's going by. It does its thing, and it's never been a, a problem, really. Brings, brings back some memories of when we used to shoot on locations. Sure. And it's like, oh, plane. Get a plane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> hold the plane. Yeah. No, we still have to do that. We still have to do that. Uh, I live in Nashville, mm -hmm. so it's not hitting me directly. Um, uh, I, I, I'm all for it, really. I, 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 uh, let me collect my thoughts for a second. You guys take this. Yeah, I am. For me, it's been uh, obviously it's it's been tough. I've gone and um, gone to the picket lines and really supported during the writer's strike, the beginning of that, and then went to um, obviously, you know, really support the actors as well. Um, you know, this is, I, I really feel proud that Screen Actors Guild has taken this step because I feel like we're on the forefront of society in a way, like everyone's trying to fight big business and, and you know, prove their value and commit to, um, you know, having everyone equally be paid and fairly. Um, and also, everyone's concerned about AI and how that's going to affect things as well. And so I feel proud as an artist, but artists in general are at the forefront of what most people feel like <coughs> they want a voice for their own, uh, basically, own business. Um, and I've been very lucky, specifically and personally, with it all, because um, I'm about to do a movie that it has the interim interim agreement. It's a low budget movie. It's under a million, and um, and it's a beautiful film. And I'm very excited about it. And I just think that's the proper way to go about things in terms of standing up for what is right. Um, and yes, I mean we've been all, in a way, victimized year by year, and slowly but surely our rights have been taken away. Last year, I lost my health insurance because mm -hmm. of streaming. 30 years I've been in this business and I was like it was a big shock and blow to me and I was like what this is possible like every year I'm gonna have to fight and work harder and work f four to five jobs a, you know a year like that's insane like that's just not the way our business works it ebbs and flows there's you know it's feast or famine it's like you know good years and bad years it's just how do we protect ourselves throughout and the way we used to was through residuals yeah. mm -hmm. and so now what's wonderful because of him you know we have these cons are like our act as our residuals and we have so much fun doing them so it's literally like thank goodness for these cons and really fun cons like dragon con mm -hmm. <laughs> where we can just see people literally emulate movies that we all love and you know use the characters that impacted them um, as the extension of themselves. It's pretty beautiful. Um, so in a way, it's, I'm proud of it. I'm not proud of how some people are suffering and struggling because of it, because not everyone has a major movie they've done in their history or, or part of a franchise or whatnot, or done movies that are recognizable where they could come and be even a part of this to survive during this time. So, or the below the line people, you know, the um, people who are background players or crew. Um, it's, it's such a dark time, but I'm really proud that people are standing strong so we can get what we deserve again together as a collective artistic community and really bring it back to art yeah. once more. Yeah, thousand percent. Because mm -hmm. I, I heard there might be an indie renaissance because of this, and I hope so. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, it's called showbiz. Showbiz. 
But yeah, it's yeah. not show talent, but it's show business. Like, yeah. Yeah. But not then you're show like, art. show biz, it's like, you know. Profits. Yeah. Profits, yeah. profits, profits. As actors, I'm mean, thinking about. Yeah, as actors, it can't speak for everybody. You know, for, for me, it, we're, we're almost always out of work. Our, our job is yeah. on 